Hey, this is Blake from UK Entomology, and today we're talking about the cicada killer wasp. We call it the mighty cicada killer because it's so big. These guys can be between about an inch and a half and two inches long, making them one of the biggest wasps, not just in Kentucky, but also in the United States. And they do have a large stinger, but are these guys likely to be a threat to people? Here we see one that has just captured a cicada, and it's trying to drag it to its underground burrow. We'll catch up to that one in a moment, but right now we're looking out over a suburban park in Kentucky. If you look really close, you'll see dozens of creatures flying around. All of these are cicada killer wasps. Now, if you were walking through an area like this and saw all of these things flying around you, you might think there was a yellow jacket or hornet's nest nearby. But unlike those creatures, which live in large social hives, cicada killers are solitary. They live alone in single burrows. Solitary wasps like cicada killers are much less likely to sting than hive-dwelling hornets or yellow jackets, which can launch an aggressive group campaign to defend their hives. So even though a bunch of cicada killers might live in the same area, they don't actually work together like social wasps do. Now sometimes these guys can be pretty bold. They might even get up close to your face or even your camera to take a close peek, but even then they are highly unlikely to try to sting you. So now we're back with that female who is still trying to drag that cicada that she captured and stung back to her burrow. But she needs a little help. Despite their large size, cicada killers aren't strong enough to fly and carry a cicada at the same time. So instead of dragging the cicada all the way back home, which might be 10 or 20 yards or more from where she captured the cicada, she'll climb a tree. There she'll find a branch that's a few feet off the ground and launch herself from it using the height to glide back to her burrow. There, she'll bury the cicada underground with her worm-like larva, who will feed on the cicada until they are ready to pupate. Then, the mature wasps will emerge from the ground next summer when annual cicadas are active again. Cicada killer wasps and cicadas are common in July and August, each year in Kentucky. Sometimes these creatures will find other objects to climb instead of a tree. This one found my leg before it was able to find a tree, and so it decided to climb me instead as a way to get back to its burrow. But even in a situation like this, where you've got a cicada killer on your body, they're highly unlikely to sting you unless you swat at them or scare them in some way. Eventually, it'll probably decide that you're not a tree and fly away. They just want to get back to their burrows to feed their babies. So this is what the burrow looks like. Um, it's sort of a, uh, an area where they've dug out some fresh dirt and built a fairly large hole and that's where they'll put both their babies and their cicadas. Now cicada killers do look an awful lot like hornets. They look like both our European hornet, which is common in Kentucky, and the so-called Asian giant hornet, which hasn't been found in Kentucky as of summer 2020. We encourage people to learn the difference between these things because something like a hornet can be a little more dangerous than something like a cicada killer, especially if you're close to the nest of a hornet. So in an area like a public park or a golf course where cicada killers are flying, control options are available to try to reduce their numbers, but another option would be an educational approach. You could put up a sign explaining the difference between hornets and cicada killers and why cicada killers are less likely to sting. We've got fact sheets that talk about both the cicada killer and hornets, and we encourage you to visit those to learn more about these creatures.